So hi everybody, this is Ju from Soju Cars and today I'm here in Chang'an E. Rodriguez. It's right beside Hyundai or Hyundai or Hyundai E. Rodriguez. And I have a very good friend here today. Hi guys, please subscribe to my channel. I also do car reviews like Ju. Uya West has more in-depth review. Please do check out his channel right here. Can you tell me what you're looking at? Yes, it's from Chang'an and it looks so sharp. It looks almost Lexus, to be honest. This is the CS75 Plus variant. There's only one variant for this unit. So this is a five-seater. It has a 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline direct injection engine. And it does about 178 horsepower and it does 265 newton meters of torque this is a gasoline engine that has six speed automatic transmission with the dimension of 4690 by 1865 by 1710 millimeters with a wheelbase of 2710 millimeters fuel tank capacity of 58 liters it has macpherson struts for the front and multi-link for the rear ventilated disc braking system for the front and solid disc brakes for the rear so i'll be showing you around the interior the exterior and the features and let's dive in Shijak. so here you go this is the front fascia yes it looks very sharp and it looks actually really nice because it has a black grille with a white body it makes it look like a TRD somehow, right? The accent is really amazing because the contrasting colors. It looks like it's on a body kit, but it is sold to you in this way. The headlight alone, it also comes with the eyeliner or the eyebrow and a very nice daytime running light. And it says full LED. Then we have a projector LED lamp. And we have a nice chrome accents here. And we also have more lights here. And this light actually isn't continued, but there's a chrome accent here that kind of connects the entire daytime running light system right here. And we have a grill here. It's in gloss finish with the S there with the nice glossy three-dimensional Chang'an logo and it is always really nice to see a camera right there. Then here at the bottom, this is supposed to be the radar for the adaptive cruise control, but this unit here right now doesn't have one. And we can also see that this car has front sensors, front sensors, and we have halogen type of fog lamp. Look at this area. Just imagine if or these vents were functional. That would be awesome. And this is how the bottom looks like. So the front suspension is MacPherson struts. Then here's the tire and the wheel. These are 18 inch wheels. They are in hand cooked tires. No wonder they kind of look like Hyundai cars. And the size of this is 225 60R18s. It's in gunmetal, it looks nice. It looks like a mixture of the Lexus wheels and TRD wheels or Toyota wheels. Just my opinion. There you go. So we have nice black cladding all around the car for that extra protection. Then, whoa, the lines. And the banana type of windshield wipers with washers. Then we have the S again. It's like the CS. Then we have a carbon fiber looking design. All right. And very, very special looking. Side mirrors of these cars look fantastic with chrome accent, with LED repeaters, and also a 360 camera. It also comes with a heated function and powered and folded. So it is all in except for the auto dimming function. And the puddle lamp if I may add. Then here at the bottom, we have red accent for that sportier look. It's also cool that this thing actually 
extends all the way here. The door handles, we have chrome accents, and here we have the sensor for the keyless system. And yay, I can even slip on this. Glossy black finish on the B-pillar and the C-pillars. We have chrome accents here on top and it gets bigger. So we have nice windows and yes, same 18 inch wheels, but uh, you only get a solid disc brake system here. This is a multi-link suspension and inside is the fuzzy material. And this is the gas cup on the left side. Then we have the roof rail, the shark fin antenna, the panoramic sunroof, and we have the spoiler with the carbon fiber accent. And then here at the back, let me show you the bigger picture. Yes, it looks like a Santa Fe. Yes, it does look like a Santa Fe. All right, then we have this crane looking design. It's like the head is looking that way. Then it also looks like a Shang'an V. Yeah, the defogging lines, the windshield wiper. And we have the top mount brake light that looks like a frog's eyes or the crabby eyes. Huh? What can you say? Right? The plate lamps are in LED. That's very nice. Shang'an CS75 Plus 280T. I still don't know what the 280T means. If you know, please do let me know in the comment section below. Shaman, we have the reverse lights. We have four eye sensors for the backup sensors. We have two uh, dual exhausts that are functional. They're encased in a very nice accent. You see this? There you go. Reflectors. All right. So that's the exterior. Now let me bring you to the interior. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and also contact the person I have listed in the description section below. So with the key in my pocket, I can just approach the car and the door will open automatically. Now this is the door panel. Now we have brushed aluminum, plastic and red leather or burgundy leather with burgundy stitching. And we have the Oh, the accent. It's like the Chang'an somehow. It's like a T-shape. Oh, it looks like an underwear. Oh, I'm just kidding. And then we have the controls for the side mirrors, the doors, the windows. It's padded. We have also brushed aluminum, bottle holder and cubby and the speaker and a speaker here as well. Now the seats are powered, so they eat looks like they are six-way powered because it doesn't have the lumbar support here now the seats look very posh it's uh, a bit surprising they didn't put any CS here logo here but they look like they're ventilated they look like they're ventilated and they have nice knee support here so it looks very promising the hood release is here the gas cap release is here I cannot find the trunk release. So let's go inside. Let's check out the interior. This is how the interior looks like. Now, there are some things that I want to highlight are those two screens. This is a 12 inch screen. This is a seven inch screen. All right. And this is wrapped in leather with stitching. This area is a uh, soft like rubbery plastic and this area is also like a rubbery soft type of plastic with stitching all right wow the way they did the vents well they only have like two holes but they're wider they look fantastic especially when this area is continuing all the way there so it like symbolizes continuity and maybe the 88 i'm not sure maybe long life please do leave in the comment section below if you know what they mean so this car also comes with a flat bottom steering wheel with glossy and brushed aluminum and you have the cruise control and the hands-free and audio control right here the funny thing is that the volume is actually on the left this is the audio control but it's the volume knob is on the left it's not here that's very interesting we have automatic headlight control and we have manual windshield wipers 
here we have a place to put the cards and this is a compartment which is very very convenient if you want to hide something there now the steering wheel is tilt and telescopic that's very nice now this one is an electronic steering i cannot test this unit today but i'm sure it has a very soft steering wow uh, i feel planted i feel very planted on this nice seats they look very expensive right and this car has like dual airbags in front and you also have airbags on the seats and also sides uh, but you don't get the airbag there because this car is a five-seater wow and look at this okay leds and they have a very nice design to it and we also have a panoramic sunroof so the control is right here and our sun visors uh, they have mirror but they don't have lights well most probably because we have very nice lights so we can see our faces very well and then we have a standard um, room mirror there you go then here the glove box you have to press this and it comes down very slowly and gentle that's very good and i also like the fact that they made the airbag badge stand out like that please hit that like button if you like what you're seeing don't just criticize because it's Chinese, okay? So the engine start button is also very unique. We all thought that Okovango had a very unique push start button because it was square, looks like a chiclet. Now this one looks different as well, and it's beating, right? And obviously there's a screen here for the aircon, and we can find out more about that very soon. You have a USB port, 12 volt, Cubby hole, six speed automatic transmission. It, it, because they have like this silver uh, buttons, it, it's like you know, we can ship using them, but it's not. There's leather and leather also. E brake, driving modes, auto stop and go for the engine. All right, this one is even available on the Alsvin, the sedan, the soft compact sedan, and 360 camera, two cup holders with wood looking finish. Okay, and the center console has, there's a vent there, and no more. It feels like uh, this car has a better version, like in other countries, because I see some of the blanks. And then what else? This area is all leather. It feels like a European car. It feels like an Italian car. What do you think, guys? Wow, very nice. Now, let us start before we start let us just put it on okay all right let's put it auto whoa look at that so if we start the engine wow do you see that when i press the brake it also braked that's cool i like that attention so when i open the door okay it opens and it's also showing the lights. Wow, look at that. Because my headlights are on. Oh, look at that. Wow. Like park lights and then brake. Wow. That's crazy. That's amazing. And then you have also, uh, wow, this is the first time I've seen this kind of stuff. This is the headlight leveler, but it's in touch type. Wow. Then downhill assist, traction on and off control okay and the right side is the entire thing is fuel level so this is a seven inch screen it could have been better if everything was actually a huge screen like the okavango but the quality is as nice as the julie and how about here oh car setting okay it's uh, lagging a bit Okay, lighting settings, headlight. Oh, you can also control the headlight. Oh, and then what's this? So that's the, so you can actually control many things from here. Volume, custom settings. Oh, power transmission mode, economic, standard, and sport. Okay, now we're in normal mode. Maybe I will try to shift the drive mode 
Echo, Norma, and Sport. <laughs> hey, look who's here. <laughs> this is Regan from Regan's Rides. If you haven't subscribed to him, please do subscribe now. And you can always say, let's do this. Thank you for it. <laughs> so back to the video. So when you change the modes, oh, individual. I, I'm guessing the individual is a custom setting. Then you have Echo, then you have Normal, then you have Sport. So the TPMS is here. The thing. Oh, it changes. Come on. All right. So it has different stuff. Then, okay. So the themes, you have classical, sport, concise, and auto switch. So auto switch is what I want, actually. When I switch, there you go. This is what I want. That's normal. That's echo. That's individual. So individual and sport is quite the same. All right. That's great. The screen, this 10 inch screen is amazing. It's fantastic. It's so big and they made it like into one piece, making it look like one piece. But uh, honestly, it's not one piece because there's only a small screen here in the middle. But still, it is a very nice feature to have. So there must be a home button somewhere. Now I cannot, I'm not really sure how to operate this one. I'm, I'm guessing this is the home button. Yes. And then Fota. Okay, that's not a bad word. Fota. Oh, you have different stuff like that. Yes. Oh, you also have a 3D sound setting. Then what I also want to see is a car setting again. So custom setting. So this might be the custom setting or the individual that we have just seen right here. Okay, let's try to start it. Okay, now it's green. It's good to go because if I let it go, if I let go of the brake, it will not turn green. Turns green. Yawn. Now the car is working. Oh, every time the line hits the tachometer, it kind of glows and I like that. What if, how about the 360 cam? Come on. Okay. So this is 120, 180. Okay. Let me try to press the 360 button. So that was reverse. Let's close it and let's just put it to 360. So when I press the 360, it shows the car all around. And you can also do a full screen of that. But when you do it again, you can see the 360. There you go, the camera is moving. Now, this is not the best. Well, I have to be honest, this is like one of the worst uh, cameras that I've seen. At least in 2019. So please do pay attention to the surrounding environment because you will need that. Now, if the quality is not that good, we will need to see how bright it is during nighttime. It is to come in the future. All right. And then air condition. Oh, it has haptic. It has haptic uh, feedback. So you know when it's going up and down. So let's do that. It kind of shows here. So it's a single zone digital air condition system, but you also have air vents here at the back. Remember, this is a five seater. This is a five seater. Let's turn up the engine. All right, let's go to the second row. The second row, the door panel, same materials, red, aluminum and plastic and the speaker and the speaker and the seats actually 
they just looking at them you know that they are comfortable and can this go even further okay so that's how much you can recline the max all right so it's a 60 40 and we have pouches here we have air vents here we have a usb charge port here we have a compartment here close the door and we have individual lights here just like what you can find in the cs35 all right and we have a cup holder here no cup holder but it's like a bed i mean it's like a pillow i love it so so soft all right so the only amenities you're getting from here is the aircon which is super duper important and the charge port and the individual lights and the grab handles and the panoramic sun let's go to the trunk now here at the back the trunk is actually manual it's not a power type and i'm guessing that there is a power type because there's a blank here so it has a hydraulic struts with uh, yellow lights and for the third row now there's no third row but if there were a third row you'll be using this for your convenience and here's the place where you can find the wheel right under this you'll find a donut type of spare wheel and your tools and jack and all your tools will be here let's close it let me show you the engine bay so this is the engine bay this is the 1.5 liter engine or the blue core engine that has gdi all right and it is also padded with the chang'an ever proud chang'an embossing all right and it comes with a manual strut let's put it down so let me show you the lights so these are the front lights it almost reminds me of a trd fortuner and the uh, side repeaters and the rear lamps work that way and your reverse lights are actually there so thank you everybody for watching this video if you're interested in insurance please do contact me at sojuinsurance at gmail.com and if you like this car if you don't like it please do tell me in the comment section below oh the turn signals are actually leds as well they look fantastic to be honest so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video may your dreams come true bye uh all right, Merry hey Christmas. guys, <laughs> we're here in Chang'an for their long Chang'an. Because I'm Reagan, so I want to call it Chang'an. <laughs> and I'm Jew. Yeah, and we're here in Jew's camera, so guys, subscribe to So Jew Cars. Please subscribe to Reagan, please subscribe to Tito. Hey, Tito. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Tito, you said Tito. Hey, I'm not the only one here. <laughs> very, very PH. Yes, very PH. Reagan's right, and So Jew Cars. Check out our channel. See you.